Hi there. Um, I'm pretty swamped with other things, but I wanted to make a fast video um, about a comment I posted to D. Landon Cole on scientific documentation. His latest video is about how he is going to be um, going back to the London School of Economics. And um, a few days ago, <clears throat> there was a big scandal in a lot of the newspapers about uh, Gaddafi's son and how he may have not done all of his research um, for his doctorate at the London School of Economics. And um, D. Landon Cole did a video about that. I posted a comment about how I would like to see a discussion of how much... Uh, how many problems there have been with scientific documentation and um, cutting corners. And it's not always in the sciences, but in academia. In academia, if you make a claim, you have to support it with reliable sources. You can't um, just make an emotional claim and leave it at that without saying what your sources are, why you believe that's valid science. And yet, one of the problems I have with YouTube is that anyone can claim to know the science and to make scientific assertions and, and social science and cultural assertions without providing reliable sources. Now, there can be debate about the validity of the sources provided. That's certainly a good thing to do. We don't have peer review, and I know this sounds bloodless. I know it's not, you know, a thing where I, I'm yelling obscenities at anybody, which, you know, <laughs> it's just the way. I don't want to yell obscenities at anybody. I want people, if they believe something, I want them to know why they believe it. I want them to see the sources uh, that the assertion is based on, especially universal sources, uh, I mean, universal claims uh, that really could impact humanity. I know this is YouTube. I know it doesn't really ultimately matter that much to very many things, but it matters to me um, because I want YouTube to be a forum where we really discuss ideas and not just scream obscenities and assert that that is, you know, the basis for making an argument. Um, and if you even point this out, you get a lot of flack. You get people saying, you know, that you are the villain, that you are the person. And this is only on YouTube. I mean, in academia, it can get pretty grisly, but it doesn't get this kind of getting a rewards for being the most creative uh, invalidator through emotional insults. And I'm sick of watching it on YouTube. I mean, I, YouTube should be used for a better purpose. We have used, not we, but a lot of people have used insults to, to try to assert facts for a long time. It's gotten us a total of nowhere. A lot of people who refuse to really study and research something make assertions, and they are absurd assertions and they provide no evidence of their assertions other than their assertion that their assertions make sense, or they provide very, very biased. I mean, in the case of creationists, they quote other creationists. Um, so their claims, if you want to believe creationism to begin with, uh, you'll believe their claims. It's just an absurd way for us to try to think about ideas. If you're here to think about ideas, then provide sources. If you're here to be a drama queen, then just keep screaming.